Okay, welcome out to this tackle trading video on Thinkorswim and how to add two indicators to a chart in the same band. Uh, this is a Thinkorswim tutorial. Let's go take a look. Now, actually, this question came from our clubhouse, which uh, kind of morning mailbag style, answering and helping out from the clubhouse there. Uh, by the way, if uh, you want to post stuff in the clubhouse, we have good discussion going on on many topics. This question came from Keith, and Keith says, When viewing the coach's show or mentor's recorded videos, I notice that when the implied volatility band is included on the lower chart, at times there's also ATR in the same study, making it a dual function. Is there a study to select, or is that a custom build? And that's a custom build there, Keith. Let me show you. Let's bring up, um, oh, something like a, just a big stock like Apple, okay? Apple Computer. Now, and let me dump the drawings. Here we are. And this button right here up on top of the chart, it says Edit Studies, okay? Make a note of that. By clicking on Edit Studies, you can then adjust the nature of the chart. Uh, there were two different indicators you were mentioning. mentioning what, one was called implied volatility. I'm going to double click this in. And then the other one was ATR. Both of those are helpful indicators for traders. Okay, Implied volatility for measuring options me mechanics and ATR for how fast a stock is moving. Okay, If you don't know how to use those, you probably need to study up on what those are. But this is just how you add two studies. Now, the way you put them on the same graph, because I'm going to I'll show it to you. If you don't do anything but use the default as they come in here, then they're going to be on different graphs down here, which takes up more space. Some people don't mind that. It's fine. It just depends on how you personally want your settings. If you want them on the same graph, what you need to do is grab the ATR and drag it so that they're in the same band. Okay, do that again. Let me show it to you. So in there, when they're in different boxes, there's a line in between. So I'm going to grab the ATR and move it in the same band. Now, what I personally like to do is have one of them measure on the left axis. Like I'll take implied volatility and click on left axis. Okay. So now the implied volatility is being measured down here at 23%. The ATR is measured here at 2.00. Uh, this has been a video on how to add two indicators to the same chart and overlap them. The reason that left axis is important is that if you don't have that set up that way, let me show you, then it won't give you the number down on the bottom, okay? Because they're measuring both in the same percentile instead. So that's why I do like that left axis. Okay, again, get in the game, tackletrading.com, where we've got lots of great content, great community, you know, uh, just, a, just a wonderful thing we're building over there for traders. So get in the game and uh, get active in the clubhouse. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.